1985, when America was gifted the little gray box known as the NES, Nintendo became a household name. Kids no longer played video games, they played Nintendo. And to further push their brand, they began marketing a variety of licensed products. From this day forward, these licensed products will be referred to as Nintendo, Nintendo Oddities. Oddities. Cue the music. Is it weird or is it lame? It's licensed stuff that isn't games. It's Nintendo Oddities are here. Nintendo Oddities are here. All right now, Jay, what I really need you to do is open your mouth as wide as you can so I can see all of your teeth, okay? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, is that good enough? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I want to ask you some questions about your oral hygiene. So, are you brushing like three times a day? No, sir. I mean, I brush my teeth twice a day. Do I need to be leaving school to come home and do it again? So, are you flossing? <laughs> no. No, sir. Should I be? Alright, so do you think it would be easier to brush your teeth three times a day if I gave you this new Super Mario Brothers toothbrush? It comes with a sticker. Gee, thanks. That will make brushing my teeth a lot more fun. Thank you. So, back in 1991, Sensodyne Search teamed up with Nintendo to release four Nintendo branded toothbrushes. This being one of them. This bad boy is still in the package and it is just amazing. Look at this thing. Is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? I mean, ADA approved. Look at there, you get the little visual of Mario inside. The Nintendo seal, there's the Tanuki suit. That's what the top looks like. So I did a lot of research on this toothbrush and I literally can't find anything. But what I do know is there were four of them. And the way I know is because the back tells you. There's a Mario, a Luigi, Princess, and Bowser. They call him King Koopa. See it says collect all four. And then it tells Super Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, and King Koopa. So there are three more of these things floating around somewhere in the world. This is the one I have. And this is apparently a little marketing sticker that dentists gave out when they gave you the toothbrush, which I thought was really cool. I never knew that. When I was a kid, I wasn't lucky enough to get one of these. And if I did, I don't remember getting it. But pretty happy to have both of these things in my collection. So I'm gonna do something really controversial right now. We're gonna open this thing and we're gonna use it. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's free. Look, look at it. All right, here we go. We're going to undo the top very gently. No, maybe we'll do the bottom. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. This is the first time this has ever been removed from the wrapper. Oh, there it is in all its Sensodyne glory. Still smells like a toothbrush. Let's take this straight to the bathroom. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Sensodyne Search toothbrush licensed by Nintendo. What a cool piece of Nintendo history, and I am glad that it is one of Nintendo's oddities. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see more like it. Hit that like button and leave me a comment about more oddities that you would like to see. 
Also, I would like to take a moment to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Philip Kelly, Generation Gap Gaming, Megadan29, JLove81, Alex Perez, How You Doing Honey, and Snestalgia. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your continued support. Ah! I'm so close. <laughs> I can't reach it. I can't reach an 80 cup. Well guys, I guess that'll have to be next video. Until next time, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.